three, two, one, zero, zero, and lift off. All right, guys, so got my seat and everything. Are you guys ready for it? We got some old tools. So I'm going to do a little series on uh, cleaning these up and everything, making them useful again. I don't think I might use them, but just something to do. Like these planes, I think I may use. I may try to get adequate in it. But um, maybe nothing like super, super involved or anything, you know. Just cleaning them up, you know, a good display piece or anything. Um, these aren't terrible. Uh, I have some rust on it. I might throw these in the rust bucket. These, though, oh, these are nice and old and rusty. So I can't even tell the name on those. That says Drop Forged. Made in USA. What it tells me. This one. Oh. Don't even know that one. Uh, and then I have some other planes here. Got this really cool monkey wrench. I don't have one like this. It'd be cool to really like clean this one up and actually use it. There's some tape on there. We'll get that off eventually. Here's a here's another plane. Um, I think I might just clean like you know, clean this one up. You know, let it. I don't have to do much on it. So, what a nice C clamp. Hmm. But uh, some of it I do have to dilute and well leave in white vinegar. Um. I'll just use the lid. I have other ones. Um, I'm just going to kind of clean these up one by one. Um, some of these I'm going to have to let soak like this plane. Like, I'm definitely going to let that one soak. Uh, this one, I could probably work on that one today. This one I might just let soak to get that off. So, some other stuff like that. Definitely these. And this, uh, I'll just throw it in. This not really. I don't really see much of any rust on it. I might just let this just soak in just to get anything off of it. But um, nothing too serious. And this definitely doesn't need. There's like no rust on it. What I see. Yeah. No. Okay. This might be is definitely going to be a series thing for a minute. Um. So probably which one do I want to do today? I'll probably do this one today. Um, in this video, but I will, hold on, give me some more labor in here, um, I'm probably going to do a couple of these today, so, like, today, today. I'm just gonna kind of try to clean these off a little before I throw them in there. Help kind of speed up that process, kind of get some nice grooves to it, you know. Well, let's give you that real quick. Uh, I think I might actually use this video as like a before video, you know, of like kind of what I do and everything. They have these things kind of ready to go. So that one's good. This one, holy crap. Well, that definitely worked, but not. It's way too big to 
work on all this. What's up? The what? Oh. That just has an E on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, these two are definitely going in there. Oh yeah, this. these are definitely going in there. I'll just do like a quick pass on it. Just kind of knock off any just gross stuff that might be on it. I just picked these up because they look really nice. Like, you know. Like they feel nice and everything in the hands. Uh, that'll work. Um, and then just when you start taking apart these, I have no idea about any planes or anything. Never worked on a plane, never did a plane, nothing. So this is something new. So that's something I can clean up. Like a little lever right here. Yeah. Hope you guys can see this. Let's get this out. So if you guys give it a good look, a little bit better of a look. Oh. Huh. That peels apart. Did this come off? It does. Uh, that or is, that doesn't have any rust on it. I mean, it may be like a tad bit, but. This quick knock off any of this so it doesn't have to go necessarily in there. Yeah, I knocked off a whole bunch of rust. Uh, I'm gonna make this flat again, hopefully, on the bottom. So that's fine. And that's good. Oh yeah, this blade, terrible. Yeah, this stuff smells like an antique shop. I can see some Metal poking through there. It's not too coated in rust. There we go. All right, we'll do this one next. This one doesn't have a handle or anything, but oh well. Kind of throw this in there just like that. I might strip this paint off. Um, maybe I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I don't have like a paint uh, scraper or anything, so I don't know. Just gonna let these things soak in there for maybe like a day, maybe two. I don't know. But I do have a Dremel, so that's definitely going to come in handy when it comes to all of that. I don't know if this used to be white or that's just like flaking off or whatever, but there's a little white right there. Now this bad boy. These aren't too bad, but. Might as well 
I'll just hook them too. I just have the one handle left and then these two left. So uh, let's get the get this poured in. And then go from there. You got a stink. It's okay though. Most everything is uh, submerged. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around to get this last one fully submerged. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with it for a second. sucks for any opened cuts or anything like that. So that one's fully smerged. So maybe just like a tad bit, but now that one's fully submerged. This one lay right there. Somewhere in this one. Fully smudge right there. Just lay these this way. Actually, I'm going to move one of these blades down here just so it gets a little bit better. And the only thing that's kind of picking out is this, but I'm not too worried about that. So, I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just close that up. Yeah, but... mm. Definitely hurts any open ones. Mm. All right, so I clean this up and I'm gonna call that one good. All right, guys. So, in the next video. We're gonna be tackling this bad boy. We got baking soda for this. Let me set that on top. Uh, yeah, uh, three in one oil to coat the um, the tools after we're done. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned on the next couple videos. We're gonna crack into some of these tools. Um, those are probably gonna have to let sit, so I'll probably have to do those at a later time. But crack into one of these two here soon so stay tuned guys and enjoy